Hello YouTubers, JDog706 here today with another app review. Um, this app review today is Illusia from the company Gameville that makes apps in the App Store. They make very good RPG games and I'm pretty sure some of you may have heard of them. If you see this cord running from my device, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, I got my new speaker and replaced it and it turns out the speaker was faulty and it didn't work right. So I'm stuck with this and ordered the whole dock connector replacement so I won't have to worry about any faulty wiring or anything like that. Now, let's get started. As from all Gameville games, after you get through the main loading screen or as soon as you open the application, you should get the little Gameville thing. Like that. Now main screen you have your new game continue help and options when you play you are going to start off with this person right here in the background with the red hair and you will be starting off in a forest type area you have to retake a test that you failed for three years in a row but it's going to be pretty easy but it's going to be aggravating from the back and forth running you got to do now i've been playing this game for forty three hours and thirty three minutes and i am at level forty eight i'm a fighter and I am in a desert place. Um, I am currently leveling up because I had fought the boss in this area, and turns out that I got he had four bars of health, and I got his health down to like less than one bar, and lost for some attack due to level. So right now I'm leveling up. Um, one thing I like about this is it's very original, like, each, like, when you attack a new monster, you get a different sound effect that hits it, so it's not the plain noise that you hear every time. That's really good. Um, the armor customization that you see in Zenonia 2 and up is introduced in here as well. Um, my strength is 71, dexterity 22, intelligence 21, my attack is 218, defense 457, Critical 3.88% and Avoid or Avo is 8.76. Um, my current armor stats, Bone Sword, Bronze Armor, Bronze Helm, Full Metal Gauntlets, Magic Ring, Thin Iron Boots, and Magic Necklace. Now, um, when you purchase armor or sword, some of them may tend to look the same just like at this icon right here but when you equip it to your character it will look different um the this game has no max level you get up to you get past level 200 if you want and the options you have the ability to change the game speed i have it on full speed your vibration language auto save yada 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 everything that you see before um you have your same game, you save game, and you can customize the pad, the D-pad, with anything you want. I'm just going to leave, save that. And so I'm just going to show you guys some, me killing some of the monsters, like some of the sandworms I got here. The boss to this stage, I think that's like the fourth world or um, region I'm in the desert you start out first is the a wood place like a forest like I said um, second is snow third is the volcano and fourth one is the desert there's a lot of ripping and running through this game which is very aggravating at certain times and if you've played Zenonia 1 and 2 uh, Zenonia yeah Zenonia 1 and 2 how you just get Origin of Lives and you can just go to a certain dealer in the game and you can get the Origin of Life so you won't have to restart without without losing your gold or XP or any kind of penalty like that. This game you have to buy Origin of Life and in-app purchase in the App Store. And that's one thing I don't like. I wish they would have left it original like they did with um, Xenonia. They're probably going to lose a lot of consumers this way, but who am I to judge? It's Gameville. They can do whatever they want with their money. Um, I'm really into RPG games, not too, too much, but yeah, I, I love the cla uh, casual RPG game. 
I like this because it's a side scroller, but I like most of the RPG games by Gameville. Um, this game represents a challenge for me because the monsters get harder no matter what level you're at, and it's really fun. This game is on my top games list, and it's not very easy for games to get that far, which I think. Um, rating, I'd give this game a 9 out of 10, and the reason a 9 out of 10 is because the origin of life thing, they could have they could have fixed that, it could have been a lot better. So, I'd give that game a 9 out of 10. Illusia, for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, I give a 9 out of 10. Um... Also, guys, make sure you thumbs up this video, like, and leave a comment, and subscribe to my other channels, JDog Tech Help for tutorials on computers and Windows help and everything, and Simply Gamer 706.